I've had this idea for a long time. I've wanted to basically take a old beat up car, truck, you know, something like this, and uh, convert it so that it can run on two wheels. It's called Skeen. And uh, I found this pickup truck at a, a tow yard down the street and uh, super good price and I figured, eh, time to do it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Alright, so first thing I'm going to have to get to is the body here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of steel and I'm going to run it all the way up to the ceiling before I pull out this old crappy liner. Can you see it? Yep. Um, and then we're going to weld the support up to the roof. And I'm going to do this on the passenger side because I feel like uh, from some of the stuff I've watched on YouTube, people tend to like to be on the top side while they drive on two wheels. So clear this off, put a little steel tube up there, and then once I get a piece up on the roof, I'm going to run a bolt through, and I'm going to build a, a basically a, a set of wheels, where, but wheelbarrow wheels that are going to be out here, and it's going to allow me to learn before I tip all the way over, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll make it adjustable so we can slide out. This little dirty piece of metal, some leftover stuff I got. It is gonna be a roll cage and, what's it called, outrigger? This is gonna be a roll cage slash outrigger support. So this is gonna go on this side, on the driver's side, and then I'll put another one on the passenger side, and then I'll run a plate on top to bolt down into this, and then the outriggers from there. Back to the metal rack. Yep, here's one. That'll be a long enough. This is one. truck is the battery is all dangly wangly and I figured it might need to be strapped down so I welded in a hook on here and a hook on here and I'm gonna throw a little strap on here so I can tighten this thing down there we go Next step is we got the differential uh, all welded up and locked in, so both tires are spinning at the same time, chirping around corners, pretty cool. Um, so now I'm gonna make the telescoping arm that slides down into this receiver part. Um, and those are basically, that's gonna come out. And then on the end of that, I'm gonna have kind of an angled um, piece that two little wheelbarrow wheels are gonna sit on. And those are gonna be what catch me when I go all the way over. So we'll come over here. Uh, we've got, a 5 8 rod through like a wheelbarrow wheel off of Amazon and this is the rod that slides in it hasn't been adjusted yet for uh, the angle I'll probably cut it and then flip it over and have it welded back on but I drill these holes first so that I get the alignment on the pin correctly and the pin will slide out and the wheels will be able to take in and out in case they go flat or something they only take about 300 pounds a piece so I'm gonna pump them up in the PSI and hopefully they don't pop because that might be really bad uh, but yeah, I'm gonna weld this up and then we'll slide it in there and we should be almost ready to go Maybe just double check the seatbelts and put a stereo on it and some rims
an idiot. See this cool ramp? It is built to tip me over the wrong direction. So now I gotta cut it off and just flip it all around. Okay, so today is test day. I got my friend Kyle out here. He's helped me finish up welding the ramp, and we're gonna take the ramp. We're gonna place it right up over here. We're gonna run the Ranger over it and see like kind of what angles we need to get and if it's gonna tip all the way over if the ramp's too aggressive, so. Got everything set up. Kyle's here to film. <laughs> and I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and get it up on the ramp and see what happens afterwards. Cause I wanna figure out how, how much it's gonna kick me, if I need to turn in or if I need to turn out. So that way if I go to somewhere, like a cement pad and this thing just explodes first try, I don't have to trailer it back out. So we're gonna do it at my house. So if anything breaks, we can weld it up. Weld up the ramp, weld up the car, weld up the whatever, switch tires. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Yeah, it came out of a breather hose. Yeah, so that's fine. I just probably should leave that off, huh? Yeah. So it doesn't go It'll back suck in. It in there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the first few tests were a success, maybe? I don't know. Uh, what we found out from watching the footage is that the rear dip was broken, so now we're gonna pop it open, re-weld it, and do a better job than we did last time, and hopefully that should fix the problem. I need to get this stuff out. Giant chunks of steel just fell out. <laughs> Got the diff all welded up, put two rectangular plates in there, did a little bit better of a job because there was some extra material that didn't hold quite as well from the some of the abuse. Uh, we're gonna seal back up and put some oil in it and let it dry and then we'll be back at this. So hopefully we have some light by the time we can go again and I can get a better shot at hitting this thing and staying up. So I feel like I got pretty close last time and if I can keep the throttle in, should be able to control a little bit better, but we'll see. How's it look? I think that's good. All right, little hold.
<laughs> okay, so we moved the ramp to a better location. I can't see anything. It's up here on the hill. And uh, it gives us a longer straightaway to kind of run, but it's a little bit on the hill, so we're gonna try and figure this out. Um, take a couple runs, tip it over on its wheel and see what happens. So I think this will be a better spot and hopefully I can drive it out for about 100 feet and I would consider that a success. Uh, maybe in a future episode I can take it out to a parking lot and learn how to do circles and stuff, but we'll see. Seem to be coming up pretty slow. I know. It just bought, it's like bam, and then there's no control. It's like it's like jumpy. It, yeah, it's bucking you off, sort of. Yeah. You think? Like, boonk. You think you're coming off it or coming at it too fast? Damn, bro. Can you get out? Yeah, those wheels are dead over there now. <laughs> that might be it for the night. Yeah. We could probably push it over from here though. How'd that feel? That was okay. I just need, I need a better spot. I thought you were gonna do a full loop on the side. I know, I should've just done a full 360 donut. All right, so broke the Ranger a little bit, broke the wheels up on top. They're definitely a little munched. You can see the entire rim is broken off, the tires are popped. So I think I'm gonna call it for today and we're maybe we're gonna find a better spot for this, see if I can find a parking lot. If, any, if you know anyone that has a parking lot in Morgan Hill, then uh, let us know. Um, but yeah, it needs to be more reliable. I mean, I was getting the feel for the ramp and everything. I might modify the ramp to be a little more, more consistent. But yeah, truck's still running strong, so <sighs> stay tuned for part two. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Thanks, Kyle. No problem. Yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs>